Uh, Stacy Peralta and George Powell, 1978, teamed up to start the Bones Brigade. Uh, and started making skate videos and forming its own group of young kids and their own kind of skate, their own version of Z-Boys. And they, one of their youngest recruits and star players was a kid named Tony Hawk. Um, Jay Adams, another Z-Boys, uh, he was like a jazz musician in the way he, the way he skated. He was, uh, I think, probably the most um, talked about skater in, in, in the Z-Boys time. Tony Alva got so big in 1977 that he was the grand national champion of skateboarding on ABC's Wide World of Sports. At the age of 19, Tony Alva was offered uh, tons of sponsors, tons of sponsors, but he turned them all down and he started his own company called Alva Skates. Again, at 19. Rock star. Uh, you know, and his attitude, his advertising was pure attitude. It wasn't about skateboarding. It was about him. He was the face of skateboarding. Um, and he often was in, in his own ads because he embodied, I think, all the things that I think we looked at as skateboarding to be. Uh, the look, the obviously the skill, uh, just, the, just the, the pure, I don't know, just the badassness of, his, of, of the way his personality was. Um, at, at, at the same time, um, Tony, you know, had done what no one else had done before, which is kind of what, what set him apart from everyone else. He, he, had, he had performed one magical feat, which changed skateboarding forever. Um, Tony left the pool. Now, so he basically gets air in, in the swimming pool. So, you know, there, there's kind of a pivotal moment in, in a lot of things in life. And I, and I think uh, I'd I look at this like... There was a time before a man walked on the moon. There was a time after a man walked on the moon. There was a time before Tony left the pool. Um, and there was a time, well, before anybody left the pool, there was a time when Tony Alva left the pool. This was such a big deal because it, it, it invented vertical skateboarding. You were, you were, up until this point, you were basically, um, you were gripped to gravity was, you know, the only thing that was kind of keeping you on the surface of, of whatever you were on, 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 a, on a pool, on a hill, on, on whatever pavement you were on. And suddenly, so, so there's a light fixture, right, in a pool. You've got that, like, you know, that one giant big light in the pool. And, for, you know, basically people for a while were attempting who could go up to that light. Right. And then who could hit that light? Then who could go over that light? And then Tony went out of the pool. Right. Which, again, doesn't seem like that big of a deal now. But at the time, it was unheard of. Um, this is 1977. So uh, you've heard of vans, the shoes vans, vans off the wall. That's where that comes from. Off the wall comes from Tony went off the wall, left the pool. And um, and people were saying Tony, Tony went off the wall. Tony went off the wall. And then the vans people heard and they go, we should use that. And that became the tagline for vans. So. Tony became, again, rightfully so, the poster child of skateboarding. Um, so in 1976, March 1976, Skateboard City Skate Park opened in Port Orange, Florida, and Carlsbad Skate Park in San Diego County, uh, San Diego County California. Um, these are the very first two skate parks that will be open to the public, about a week apart. And they were the first of about 200 skate parks that will be built through about 1982. So again, skateboarding just took off and it became, uh, you know, a thing that was suddenly everywhere. Freestyle skating um, was a very healthy period. Um, and it's, I, I think it was now the new, the new norm, right? It wasn't just about like how well you can maneuver down a road. It was literally what tricks can you perform? And pioneers such as Rodney Mullen inventing um, some of the tricks that will be the foundation of modern street skating, such as uh, the impossible and the kickflip. 